Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of emotional fulfillment. This is a wish coming true. This is a very beautiful energy to be in. Um, this is independent energy as well. So we're seeing some sort of fulfillment or satisfaction, contentment, emotional harmony that is being generated from within. It's like that self-love type of energy. Feeling really good about yourself and your situation, regardless of what anyone outside of you is doing or saying or what the external circumstances are. There's just this energy of having this light within you. Um, but also at the same time, there is this energy of a wish coming true with this card as well. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, so we have the page of pentacles and this is earth energy next we have the five of cups in the reverse water energy and finally we have the four of wands fire energy so with the with the five of cups in the reverse and we also have the nine of cups there is that energy of letting go of something that was really dragging you down or depleting your energy making you feel um, you know, negative, guilty, remorseful, regretful, you know, just a very grieving type of energy with the Five of Cups. But since it's in the reverse, it's like you're letting go of that energy. This is you coming out of that feeling of sadness or loss. Um, you're making some sort of emotional recovery. And um, in fact, it's it's more than just a recovery. It's like you're, you're, you're experiencing some sort of a win because we also have the Four of Wands, which is an energy of celebration a milestone being reached achieved um you know no longer focusing on what isn't hasn't worked out in the past because your present is is just so great it's almost like feeling so grateful for what you currently have or feeling so grateful for what you've achieved or what you're manifesting into your life that anything from the past that was a, it was considered a loss or emotional heartbreak or failure it, it won't bother you anymore. There's just this energy of accepting and releasing the past and allowing new opportunities to come to you. You know, there's other opportunities and you're starting to see that. And you are in just this energy of being more receptive to the positive energy. Um, it's like you're not really... There's just this energy of overcoming difficult or negative emotions and um, coming to a place of fulfillment and achieving some sort of goal or milestone as well with the Four of Wands. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Aries. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups, and this is Water Energy. 
terms of Pisces Scorpio energy. So there, it does look like you are manifesting real love, genuine, authentic love. And you could be also manifesting a solid relationship here with the Four of Wands, some sort of structured partnership that is helping you to move on from the past. Um, you know, with the Five of Cups, it's like, leaving these three cups that have fallen and moving towards the two cups you know the two of cups so we also have here the king of cups and he has two cups it's just this energy of um moving towards real love or moving towards a more fulfilling love so you are uh, definitely attracting this to you you're manifesting something that is really going to make you feel very emotionally fulfilled um, and you are manifesting it from a place of self-love though okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say Okay, we have the Eight of Wands, and this is Fire Energy. Next, you have the Hanged Man in the Reverse, Pisces Energy. So you could be dealing with the Pisces. And finally, we have the Devil in the Reverse, and this is Capricorn Energy. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn. So these two cards being in the Reverse, it does show that you are no longer holding on to something. You no longer feel trapped to something that is making you, that made you feel almost controlled or enslaved in some way. And this could be something you were obsessing over, something from your past or a connection that was really difficult to get out of or to let go of you are releasing it or you're being set free and with the hanged man in the reverse you're no longer waiting you're no longer on the hook um you know you're not anymore waiting for someone to change their mind or to come back or to act right there's just this energy of releasing what no longer serves you or what isn't healthy or you know what is you know causing you to become more in a low energy so there's definitely an unhealthy situation that's being let go of released and um it's like you're making peace with that and you're you're letting go of that situation gracefully because we don't see any suffering there's this joyful energy it's like you're you're happy to move forward and there's this energy with the eight of wands of something coming in for you quickly and it's something genuine the, with the king of cups this is a, a, a emotionally fulfilling situation this is someone who has good intentions this is someone who operates from their heart space this is someone who is sensitive emotionally sensitive you know it's like they will be able to be, uh, I'm seeing someone who's not manipulative someone who's humble and also emotionally mature um, Whereas with the devil, it's more so a connection that is based on attachments. Um, you know, someone could be manipulating, controlling or trapping you and you're, you're coming out of that. And instead, you're coming into a place where your relationships are more so on the foundation of uh, love. You know, they're coming from the heart space instead of that, that place of having to be trapped or bound um to someone okay so it definitely does look like this is coming in quickly this king of cups energy this four of wands it, it's something you're manifesting yeah because you have that 11 11 energy so you are um it's like your love life is leveling up um so your next person or this person who's coming in is is not going to be someone like this devil energy this is a very evolved person especially emotionally they are very um mature okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you aries So the card says your hard work is paying off new moon in capricorn okay so you're definitely being it's like you're almost like you're being rewarded um but just in a sense of you're letting go of something that isn't for you or that isn't serving you in some way and by doing this you are sending that message to the universe that you you know your worth and you deserve better and it is coming to you so there is something that you're releasing and it's not easy to do um there's a, a this could be a, an attachment a codependent situation a, a, very, a very obsessive situation but it's like you're releasing something that isn't um you know serving you you're you're you're, you're accepting the past and you're um moving forward gracefully and it, it does look like this is paying off for you okay so in the long run. So I'm going to pull out another card for you, Aries.
So the card says engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, so there's this message of your love life is um, leveling up. It's, you know, it's like you are attracting more evolved, a more evolved person here yeah? um, or a more evolved connection, one that can actually lead to a high level of commitment, um, some sort of engagement with the four of wands. But it's definitely something that is going to be more, uh, spiritually fulfilling as well as emotionally satisfying okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you um aries So the card says, forget me nots, eternal memories. The best things in life are the people you've loved, the places you've seen, and the memories you've made along the way. Okay, so there's again that message of having been very focused on a past situation. Um, it's, it's almost like you are releasing it, but taking the lessons from it, you know, but not being um, stuck on the past. But there's something about these situations that um, it's almost like you're going to be very grateful that for some sort of lesson that you learn from it because there could have been some sort of karmic lesson but there's just something about extrapolating lessons from the past and moving forward and um you know not forgetting those those lessons but at the same time being able to keep that the situation or that person as a memory instead of you know pursuing them or staying stuck on them there's just this energy of moving forward okay so that's what i'm seeing for you aries I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.